Hello everyone, I am back and today we are making a canal boat. Now, if you're unsure what a canal boat is, I'm no expert, but it's basically a narrow boat that goes along the canal, uh, it can be moored up in different places, and more can stay in one place, uh, totally depends what you're using it for. Uh, it's quite popular with holiday makers, so you know, you can stay in one and you can travel to a different town the next day, or stay there for a couple of days. Uh, whatever you like really um but the other thing i've seen a lot of people do is actually make them into tiny homes obviously they are a home right <laughs> like they are a functioning home but people are renovating them and making them a bit a bit more luxurious let's say um and i thought let's just give it a go on the sims and see how it comes out um so my thinking was i'd make this a tiny home so because I kind of wanted it to be, obviously with The Sims, quite functional. I did make it quite wide. I did think about making it three tiles wide, but I did go for four just just for functionality and just for gameplay. So it's not all too squished and to make it comfortable for your Sims. Um, so it's not just like a narrow corridor, basically. Um, so yeah, so I went for four tiles wide, which is why it's quite wide, but hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it looks <laughs> all right. It's just, it's just quite a wide one. Um, so yeah, so I, I have built this in Hempford and Bagley, so I'm really sorry I'm back here again. I don't know why I'm just constantly here. I'm just <laughs> keep making builds in this place. Um, must just be all the, just the, the way I can just terrain a lot, right? Lots of plants, just <laughs> go crazy with it. But yeah, so I'm back here again, um, on a smaller lot this time. And basically the build is just a rectangle, right? So I was think when I first came up with the idea, I thought, right, I'm gonna have to build this up. I'm gonna have to make it look like it's on a canal. So I spent a lot of time. I'll be honest, I faffed a lot with this build, with the the backdrop of it. You'll see that the actual build of the canal boat is basically like <laughs> quite a small portion of the video, um, because I spent a lot of time just setting the scene basically. And it does change a few times, so I do change, for example, that path out a few times. Um, but I delete. I've deleted a lot, basically, because I did faff a lot. Um, so yeah, so now <laughs> I'm using these houses from Debug, which I always feel really weird about doing, because I feel a bit like a fraud, because obviously I could have made these myself <laughs> and made a little street, made a little town in the background, but I really wanted this build to be a tiny, class as a tiny home or a tiny residential residential lot for your sim and obviously if I built those myself it would make more tiles and then of course it wouldn't count as a tiny home so that is why I use them and also it makes it a lot cheaper uh, rather than obviously building it because I know you can there are ways around you know you could build something and not have a tile count there are ways around it but this also makes it cheaper because obviously it's not a real building and you're not paying for a fake town and the canal boat you're just paying for the canal boat which is actually quite expensive but anyway that's beside the point you don't have to pay for the town you're just paying for the house and well the canal but anyway but yeah so yeah I just feel like I have to justify using those because I just always feel a bit yeah I just feel like a fraud I feel like I should be building them myself but in this case I am using the ones from Debug so I hope that's okay um now you'll see I've also put that bridge which is really really cute and fits perfectly I think with the stone and everything but of course it does make me laugh a little bit because obviously that boat would not fit underneath that bridge <laughs> in any way shape or form but we just have to use our imagination we just pretend that it can fit under that bridge because it looks really cute so I'm not going to change it but yeah it definitely would not fit under there now what you can see I'm doing at the moment is using these shelves to put around the base of this boat. Now, normally a canal boat is sort of like risen up. It has this kind of like, I mean, I don't know the technical terms here, but it has this kind of like buffer bit um, where it's like bumped up higher um, above the water because there's often like steps down. So when you go through the front door of a canal boat, there's op it's often like a step down. So I have put a step down, but it's normally more than one. Um, so you sort of go down a bit into the water almost. So yeah, there's normally this like buffer bit, but because obviously it, you can't make real boats on The Sims, you, you'd have to put on a foundation above the water. I've used the foundation, which is like clear right now anyway, 
because I didn't want you to see stilts, for example, because I didn't want it to look like, oh, it's, you know, like on, on a base. I wanted it to look like a boat. Now, obviously, this was my baby brain because I'm building this right now with this clear blue water, which obviously is not going to stay because obviously water is not that clear in a canal. I mean, it might be somewhere. But yeah, when I was like, well, I'm just going to make this dark. In the end, I do make it a darker colour, um, more natural looking colour. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see the foundations or silts anyway. So, yeah, I do change that. And then, of course, I can get like a natural looking buffer rather than at the moment I've just got these shelves. I've just used shelving around the base, which, yeah, it was just to like create the idea that, it, you know, there was a, a base to the boat. But actually, yeah, that does change because I can use a foundation and hide, hide it under the water so you can't tell. So, yeah. Um... I do spend a lot of time, as you can see, doing the setting the scene. Um, a lot of it changes, for example, that house there, look, I've just taken it away now, it goes, this run is just um, uh, basically just like trees and, and plants and, and that sort of thing, because um, I've kept it simple, because obviously the canal would keep going, obviously I can't make the canal just keep going forever or the path, but you just the illusion is that it just keeps going and then that would just be sort of like grassy and nice and then on the other side is like a little town that they've obviously stopped at um to visit the local area um but yeah so what i have done is i have like i said i have made this a tiny home but it could also be a rental you could also have it you know your your sims want to come here for a few days i think that'd be really cute if you're coming to visit henry and bagley um it's somewhere where you could stay so yeah, so I've put it on the gallery as a tiny home, but you can easily change that to um, to a rental if you so wish. So yeah, here you go. I am now changing the colour of the canal to darker. Um, and it's then when I realise I can make the foundation. I don't think I do it for a while because I think I it takes me a little while to realise. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, so now you see, you wouldn't be able to see if there's a foundation, foundation or whatever is under the water. You can't see it now so so yeah um i'm not sure what day this build is going to come out um i guess by the time it's uploaded to youtube it's probably going to be after the new pack uh the going together pack which is coming out um which obviously everyone's very excited about I've already got the update for the infants which is going to be so great for gameplay um but yeah i'm really excited for a new world always love having a new world and I'm hoping to build, well, as soon as the pack comes out, I'm, I've am i got it pre-ordered, so I will get it downloaded. And I'm hoping to probably just build a house um, in the new world. I know that other simmers have obviously made the houses and the lots in this world, so they'll be fab anyway. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that, seeing all the new items. Um, it's just always great getting new well it's great getting new world and then when you get all the other items and just yeah it's gonna be good so hopefully get that built as quick as i can next week's quite busy um so i'll try to do that one as quick as i can to get it out as quick as possible um yeah and then next week might be a bit quieter for me but we'll see i'll try and do as much as i can um so yeah as you see i am still training we are yet to go inside the boat we still don't know what's inside the boat, how it's going to look, because I am still faffing around out here doing training and plants. Yeah. Yeah, because that's just me. Um, and here we go. So, yeah, I'm ch here's me changing the path. Because I just thought this side... I wanted it to be quite different. I wanted it to be that side. Th so the other side of the canal is definitely town, and this side is very countryside. Um, so, yeah, so I just wanted sort of more gravel on this side. Um, and I change that and then I do also change the um, the way we get onto the boat because again like I said earlier the boat is normally pretty level to um, like a pa like the side of the canal so where like the path was so you wouldn't necessarily need steps so at the moment I've got steps down and then steps up you wouldn't really need that you would just kind of walk straight across but obviously it would need some kind of like little bridge um, so I do change that as well um, I don't think I show the whole process of me doing that because, again, I faffed a lot. But I just, <laughs> I did just change that because obviously once I brought it up on the foundations, it, it was the same sort of level as the path, and then I could just 
put a little puff across. So yeah, so here I am, finally changing the bottom of the boat. As you can see, it looks so much better. And I found this perfect foundation, which has this kind of like metal, um, like bolts almost on it. Um, so yeah, it really looks like the base of a boat. Um, and yeah, like I say, here I am putting that little bridge across. And I think that looks much neater, much better. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. I put another little, I'm not really sure what that's called, but basically somewhere where you can moor up the boat. Uh, on the side there, that little yellow thing, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, so yeah, and you can imagine you'd tie your rope on there and your boat would stay there for a few days. Um, so yeah, so I'm just putting these doors on the, the boat and then hopefully we will go inside um, shortly because we're yet to go inside this box because all it is is a box. So I was really conscious that, you know, like if I took everything out of this picture right now, it is just, it's just a rectangle. So I was really worried that it would look a bit out of place. So I had to, to make it feel like it really was a canal, but I felt like I had to really build up around it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it looks okay. I hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, look, we are finally inside and I wanted, to, like I said, I wanted to make it quite luxurious, not really, really luxurious, but that someone has renovated it, put some money into it because of course, originally it would be a lot of wood paneling, which I've tried to keep. So I've got the white wood paneling throughout, um, the sort of lounge area. I do change the kitchen to have some tiling, but the lounge area and, um, the bedroom because it would be a lot of panelling, uh, the floor would be wood, and it would be very, it would feel very small, because there would be a lot of storage, a lot of built-in storage around, because obviously storage would be so important, because it would normally be a bit narrower than this, um, so you'd want to squeeze in as much storage as you could, where you could, um, so yeah, it always feels, I always think they look quite claustrophobic almost you'd feel like you might be a bit claustrophobic in that I don't know I mean for me personally I I wouldn't want to go on a canal boat myself um anything related to water I'm not really a fan of so this isn't really for me <laughs> it's not a lifestyle I could live or even just go on holiday on one but um I know some people love it and I could see that it's probably very relaxing nice to be able to visit different places and like just bring in your home with you um but yeah, it's probably not, not for me, um, not a boat person, unfortunately, but yeah, but I've tried to make it as sort of, you know, I'm using a shaker style kitchen, so traditional kitchen, you know, so it's, it's, it's nice and it's been done up, but it's not like super modern or anything, so it looks out of place, if you see what I mean, but it would be nice to, to stay there for a while, or live there, however you want to do it. Now, those tiles um, that I'm using in the kitchen at the moment, I do actually change because I I haven't, I've actually only just got the um, high school pack. I know that's really, really late, um, but because I didn't play for so long, um, yeah, I've only just got it recently and like I'm a little bit obsessed with some of the stuff that's in that pack. Like honestly, there was such good things in that pack that I just really wouldn't expect. Um, so for example, like that curtain that I've used in that doorway, I just, I think that's really cute. And it's gonna be so useful because I've always loved having like a, because I used to always use that city living one, um, which is like the sort of like, the sort of like, I don't know, like metal, you can imagine it's like little metal plate things that jingle, um, like that you could hang in a doorway rather than have a door or just an archway, sort of in between. But yeah, and then, yeah, there's these great tiles that I, I put in the kitchen. I also use some in the bathroom as well, which come from the high school pack, and they're just great. I use, and the, the uh, wallpaper on the outside of the boat as well is from high school pack. So yeah, it's just unexpected great tiles from that pack. So yeah. And oh my goodness, this sofa, this sofa. Now, I do not know what was wrong with me when I was building this, but for the life of me, I could not make this sofa work, and I do not know why, like, as in, okay, so the pieces, they actually, like, it worked, like, the game worked, <laughs> but I mean, like, it just didn't look right, like, each layout I did, because I knew I wanted a little, like, fire there, a little burner there, and then the TV here, but then I was like, no, let's swap it round, and I was like, no, no, I definitely want the fire there, I want the TV on that wall, and I just couldn't get it so that the sofa was like working for both things. <laughs> like, I don't know why, honestly, like I, and I cut a lot of this out, but like, yeah, I just spent 
so long. And in the end, look, I just made a very simple, like, shillong sofa. Like, yeah, I don't know why, why I did that. But anyway, it took me a really long time to figure out that sofa. But here we are, we've done it. And um, I then carry on this sort of idea of, like, built-in. So you can see I sort of do the, like, TV unit and then a bit up the side because, like I said before, I just wanted to sort of, like, replicate that because that's sort of obviously it will not look like how it is here but like I said about having lots of storage and built-ins because it'd be really important because you would just wouldn't have the space so you'd have storage in all these funny places overhead compartments or you name it um so yes yeah, so I did that for the tv and here we are in the bathroom and like I say I've used these tiles from the high school pack and I've just put them in the kitchen as well and they're just, I just they're stunning they're so nice how did I not know these existed I mean I wasn't I didn't play for a while but yeah like amazing amazing um really really love it and i just think they're very traditional looking so i wanted it to be obviously renovated and new but also traditional looking and you know like as if it's a bit older um but obviously it is new you know like they're newly decorated tiles but it looks like it could be like a bit older and these sinks here um as you can see i put the cabinets and then i put the like season sink i think they're from um to make it look like they're like on top of the the units but of course i forgot that actually they don't function in gameplay when you do that <laughs> um so yeah the version on the gallery i did take i've taken that out so they are just the like standalone sinks so it does work i've play tested all of it as well so it's all functions fine um obviously if you place with move objects on so it loads correctly um but yeah and now just here in the bedroom and again i'm using more of the um the built-in storage just and um, i made a sort of fake looking little bench under the window which i thought was really really cute and again there'd be more storage underneath it um because yeah i just tried to make it look like there was as much as possible um for your sims not that they really care but i care that they have all the storage they need <laughs> um and then i use this little gallery collection i don't know what to call it gallery wall from the paranormal pack which is just just can't stop using to be honest and there i don't know i'm just moving it now but i found a little canal boat it's really cute it's one of the toys i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's a toy class of a toy um yeah it's so cute and it's even a similar color to this canal boat so i thought well i've got to put that in um like as a little model you know um but yeah so 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 cute <clears throat> but yeah so um in terms of the outside so that little funny thing i've put i don't know if you can see it, it's like a little silver thing is actually how you would like steer the canal boat so you steer it from the back with i think it's called a tiller i think i'm not 100 sure um so i know we've gone past it now but i put that in so that's a really cute idea to make it look a bit more realistic um and as you can see i've deleted all that roof stuff i did at the start um i even move the little picture with the little signage as well to just have the writing on the side because a lot of canal boats i've noticed have that but just didn't look quite right as it is now so yeah that's changed as well um but we are coming to the end so i will leave you with some pictures and i'll see you in the next one bye